Hey, Pecosa Baptist, let's talk about how to get prepared for this Sunday at 10.30. We're going to keep, be continuing our sermon series, uh, long story short, walking through the story of the Bible. Uh, God's people, from the very beginning, were promised that one day a snake crusher would come. One day this one would come and he would reverse the curse, that uh, God's people would, would be welcomed back into a place better than Eden. And once again, there would be peace, there would be paradise, uh, we would be in right relationship with God forever. And what we've seen so far is God's people continuing to hear layer after layer of that promise just being fleshed out a little bit as, as God speaks to Abraham, as he speaks to Moses. But now, as we fast forward a little bit further into the story, God's people are now living in the promised land. They've spent a few centuries fighting off their enemies, but finally, under their new King David, they have peace. And so it's in this context of, of peace and being in the promised land and things in, in many ways are going wonderfully that David says to God, I want to build a house for you. Uh, and, and, and God's reply to David is, David, no, you won't build a house for me. I'm going to build a house for you. There is a king coming who will reign forever, and he's going to be a son of David. He's going to be greater than you, David, and his kingdom will have no end, not your kingdom. And so this Sunday, I want you to read 2 Samuel chapter 7 to get a taste of where we'll be headed this Sunday. And what we're really going to be looking at this coming Sunday is that when God's promised kingdom arrives, that kingdom is going to last forever. So I hope you'll plan to be here with us this Sunday at 1030. Uh, I hope you'll be encouraged by the Word of God and what it has for us. Hope to see you then.